All right, so here's a fun bit of code. If you want to find out which user profiles have been logged into your machine, either a local machine or remote machine. So let's look at the local machine first. We're using WMI, so I'm taking get WMI object. Uh, that's the commandlet. Um, identifying the user profile class and then I'm pipelining the results of the user profile class to the format table commandlet and I have a back tick here which just tells um, the PowerShell script to continue on the next line so it looks like it's two lines but PowerShell sees it as one line so I can continue the rest of the format table here and I'm selecting the properties of uh, the user profile path there's more then that if you want to um, take a look at it we can just type it really quick win32 user profile and I'm gonna format it as a list and select all the properties so there's more than one there's a bunch of different properties in here I'm just concerned with the two that I have listed so I'm selecting local path and separating it with a comma and then last use time and I'm auto sizing it so that everything gets displayed properly properly so when I run this I get a nice little list of the user profiles on my system these are just um, some system profiles and here's my profile I, I only have one and it also gives me the last time that it was used or the last time that it was logged into but you'll notice that this is not a very readable format it's kind of ugly and if I want to change that one way that I can do it is by using a calculated field and calculated fields can look kinda of scary but they're not really that scary so let's go ahead and add a calculated field into this WMI query now here's my calculated field look scary it's not um, it's 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 following this property that I'm selecting and I want you to keep in mind that we're pipelining these WMI objects to format table. So we start our calculated field with the at symbol and per, uh, these uh, curly braces. And within these curly braces, we have two items that we need to create. We have a name for our calculated field and we have the expression, which is basically the calculation that we will be making. So first we have name equals and then a name and the name will be just one of these field names. Here the field name is local path and it, under it it has the paths and last use time is the name of the field there so it uh, identifies what is going to be under that. We separate it with a semicolon and then we have the expression value and we want to use more curly braces here it can be longer than this but we just have one line of code so what's happening in here well first I want to identify the property that I want to calculate and because we're pipelining it we use the special pipeline variable and then we use the dot and we identify which property we want to work with so this is this is the important part here what is this inside of this is a dotnet class that allows us to change the date into the date time format and that's the readable format so this this whole bit of code right here is just a converter for the date and so we're putting the date that we want to convert inside of that converter and that is the expression for our calculated field so we've given it a name the last use which is pretty much the same name that we have down here and then we're providing an expression to calculate what we want that field um, to be expressed as and we still have auto size here if I wanted to add more properties I could comma and um, you know select select more properties but we're just gonna use this calculated field so when I run this now we should get similar results and we do get similar results we still have our local path field identifying the profiles on the system and we have the last use which is my calculated field and it has the time that was represented there but it's in a readable date time format so 
that is a simple way for you to find out which profiles are on a system and uh, to change the format of the output so that it's it's more readable to to a user um, and the whole reason that I kind of had to go through creating this script was because there was some machines missing but we noticed that we could ping them on the network and I said well maybe I can find out which users are using that machine and I ran this bit of code and I was able to see which user profiles were on the machine and which ones were the latest that were used and so I could contact that user and say hey we we need to do inventory on these machines we don't know where it is are, are you using this machine and of course they were because I found them I caught them in the act and this script was able to help me so I did this locally this can be changed to be um, a remote script so let's look at this section over here I've changed this into a function and it has a little bit of the advanced function parameters but it has not been changed all too much so we've added two parameters into our uh, get WMI object we have the computer name which is a variable in my function up here and then we have the credentials and I just have it ask for the credentials once you run the function so I have a virtual machine running I'm gonna go ahead and run the function and let's see how it operates get remote profile and when I run it you'll see that it forces me to provide a computer name because I, I use the advanced function parameter uh, parameter block and I said that this is a mandatory so server 2008 I'll give it the computer name and then it's gonna ask for the credentials mr. power script slash administrator put in my password for that machine hit OK and you'll see that this has pulled up the results for a remote machine and uh, the account that I used on there is the administrator account and it has everything in a readable format so I don't have to squint to try to figure out what all the digits are and what places they're in and uh, that's it that's how you can find out the profiles of uh, your local machine, uh, remote machine, and when the last time they were used. That's it. Thanks for watching.